Yes, actually, there is a possibility, but not for us, obviously, not enough time. Uh, but um, yes, it's possible to, to walk on one, one part of, uh, wow. of the walls. That's crazy. The place where you're going to be able to take uh, uh, some good pictures because again it's a very good uh, lookout point, great perspective of the whole city. It's also uh, mentioned in, uh, in the autobiography of uh, Santa Teresa because uh, uh, when she was still, uh, uh, she must have been 10, 12 years old, uh, with one of her brothers, one day they decided to escape their home Ghana. and go uh, to the uh, Muslim land and uh, encounter martyrdom. <laughs> After reading of the life of saints, <laughs> and that shows actually to the courage of this of this child. And uh, so they left. They left. The, uh, the, and the brother was was uh, younger than her. And oh, but really lucky, uh, one of the of her Okay, the bus will stop here. The, the cafeteria I'm talking about is the one here to the right. First we go and take a picture, and then we come back here, and qui as quickly as possible, we use the toilets here. Is that okay? Yes. Sure. yes. Now remember, either you buy something, um, or you pay um, one euro. city of Avila, Spain. This is the, the city where St. Teresa of Avila lived and it's a walled city right there if you can see right there. It's raining so we have our umbrellas and our ponchos out.
Group picture. Tequila. Okay.
So we're go going to the St. Teresa. Hail Holy Queen. Hail Holy Queen and Lord of God, all our Hail Mother of mercy and of love, all our
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we gather in this Eucharistic table, we present to the Lord our prayers, our supplications, our intentions, and some of your intentions are also here in the altar. As we truly pray for those who ask for our prayers, especially our families, our loved ones, and those who have requested us for our prayers in this pilgrimage. My dear friends, to prepare ourselves for the for the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God, who mercy us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, by your Spirit, you raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show your Church the way to perfection. May her inspired teaching awaken in us a long time longing for true holiness. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching. Empty to your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God, because you testified against God that He raised Christ, whom He did not raise, if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, the just suits, attend to my outcry. Hear give to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word, show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, but I in justice shall behold your face, and walking I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory
Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Joseph, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise
when you have certain friends who likes a friend that gives you process difficulties and uh, Saint Teresa Avila is also known by her writings. She is so famous out of the five very important writings. The two prominent ones were the way to perfection and the interior passing. Let me talk just a little bit of interior passing since we don't have much time. But that is the heart of, of the writing of Saint Teresa Avila. The interior Please stand for the intercession. Heavenly Father, we lift up our minds and hearts to you as we present our prayers and our intentions. We pray for our Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, catechists, and all those involved in the proclamation of the faith, that they may be always courageous in facing the challenges of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord. We 
pray for our government leaders, those who govern us, that they may be honest and provide support for those who are weak in the community and in the country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our family and friends, for those who ask for our prayers and those who we promise of our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the intentions that we hold dear in our hearts, for the intentions that we have written and placed before your altar, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And now you may present your own personal intentions.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God Almighty. Let us pray. King of heaven, accept the gifts we bring in your praise, as you are pleased with St. Teresa's offering of our life in your service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is our us. Father, it is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. For he is the word through whom you made the universe. The Savior you sent to redeem us by the power of the Holy Spirit he took flesh and was born of the Virgin. For our sake he opened up his arms on the cross. He put an end to death and revealed the resurrection. In this he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And so we join the angels and the saints in proclaiming your glory as we Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. When supper was ended, he took the cup again and gave him thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love to 
together in France as our Pope, the local bishop, the local ordinary in this place, and all the clergy. Remember, brothers and sisters who have gone to the rest and the hope of rising. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles. Yet it's apostles, St. Teresa of Jesus, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in with them and give you glory through your Son.
Let us pray. Lord our God, watch over the family you nourish with the bread from heaven. Help us to follow St. Teresa's example and seek your merciful love forever. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. So for the final blessing, um, Father Romeo was suggesting to me that in the coming days, um, the, the readings, I think we'd like some volunteers from you to do in the first reading, the sponsor of and all that. So you could also participate more in the Eucharistic celebration. So expect that they will be asking you to do the readings in coming days. And then, just in case you see us in halting every now and then when we celebrate Mass, it's not because we are dyslexic. It's just that here in Europe, and the translation of the Mass is still the old one. So we kind of say the Mass in my memory, because the words don't jive with the present celebration that we have at the, in the United States. So don't think that we are dyslexic. It's just that it's too difficult to, to read that have a different text from what we are reading. Okay? And the last one is truly, let us ask the Lord for this wonderful gift of pilgrimage. Can you imagine that there are billions of people in the world? Why only a few of us have this chance to come to visit these holy places? So it's a, a truly a blessing and a gift from, the, from God that we are able to visit this place. You know, such billions of people would love to come to this place, and yet God has chosen us, not because we are worthy, but because God has graciously chosen us out of His compassion and his mercy as Father Jesus said. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
This Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Immaculate Mary, verses 1 and 3. in here or something else, I, huh? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> the reverberation, the reverb. cell of St. Teresa of Avila. So it's going to be 
on the left side of the sanctuary. It's a small door on the left side. So we're gonna go to the so. Celda donde vivió Santa Teresa. Teresa. Let's read it again. Celda donde vivió Santa Teresa. Oh, a ladder. 
Turned off. She turned off. Find a switch. Find a switch, man. She turned off everything. Yeah. I think she says that that's enough. Okay. So it could get dark in here, but hopefully the camera uh, can come. Can compensate. This is the cell of uh, Saint Teresa of Avila. Very small cell. There's a fireplace up there. Saint Teresa of Avila, pray for us.
There's a confessional the there. Considering the three years 
she was here as a prioress altogether 30, 30 years of her life were spent here. This is why this most important place to visit here in Italy. Now let's hope that all those people are that way. <laughs> Confessionario San Juan de la Cruz. Oh, it's just very small. And there it is. The nuns are on the other side of this uh, small window. Ah, uh, yes. It was so bright. <laughs> so that was the entrance into the, the chapel. There's like two chapels in there. Almost uh, the same size. But there was a... Uh, there was a main chapel. And then a smaller chapel. The smaller chapel was more bright. That's where we celebrated that. Oh, there's a big statue of Saint Teresa of Avila here. I'll show it to you right now. Right up there. It's so bright. The sun is so bright. So this is the convent. It's Father Jason. <coughs> Mom, you sombrero con apas. Convent. Again, there were no street rules, 
So this is a Carmelite convent. There were so many, so many nuns that uh, enters the congregation that they couldn't feed everybody. There are three parlors inside where the nuns can, can talk to their families and visitors when they arrive. The second parlor is a parlor where she experienced some visions also. Second parlor. At that point she was on the other side of the parlor, inside the convent. And the third one is very significant because it's the exact spot where um, one day talking to St. John of the Cross, so she was on the other side of the grave, inside the convent, he was on this side, normally not and talking about the Holy Trinity, uh, discussing spiritually, you know, about the Holy Trinity, they both started levitating. And some nuns obviously saw that. That's why, you know, when you catch up somebody, there is a long process they have to be carried out. And they need witnesses, you know, people they actually saw what was going on uh, at the place where the saint, uh, the saint was, uh, was living. And so obviously there were people that somebody saw that. And, um, and, and actually, she wrote it uh, herself, so, you know, you cannot have to talk to someone of the cross without the things. Uh, okay, let me see if I can find a little bit. Also, the other thing you will notice when you enter this staircase, it takes you up to a little there's a little store, and it's a museum now. It's just their museum. It's the Monastery of the Incarnation. Monasterio de la Encarnación. Hmm. Um, how about, uh, let me see. So Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So this is how Saint Teresa entered the, the convent. So this is the convent, which is now a, a museum. That's probably Saint Jerome. of Assisi.
there's a very large rooms there or cells that are owned by uh, rich nuns. We're gonna need to go through there to see the large cells with the rich nuns. There's an ivory crucifix there. <laughs> Privileged nuns. She calls them privileged nuns. Closer shot of St. Francis. instruments in there. Joy into a into a, a, a convent. Please notice the, the decoration of the beams. Yeah. Uh, probably the nun they live here has some artistic skill, and so she she decorated the beams using different patterns. Now, can you try to move around so that the people that have, a, have not entered yet, and while you do so, please uh, look at that door to my left there, before you go out and you go up to the other door, you see a statue of St. Therese, and also you see a staircase. And on the staircase there is a child, I mean a statue of a child. We should go around this way. Um, you know what happened? One day, uh, she was about to climb that staircase, Remember, now we are inside the convent, because this is not a part of the convent where the actual Carmelites live because it was turned into a museum, but it was a part of the convent at the time of St. Therese. And all of a sudden, she saw, um, child. She saw a child. It was not so awkward to see children here, because I told you, uh, they were allowed to receive visitors and you know, be there with some nuns and village nuns who also have uh, their relatives come out uh, inside the convent. I don't know, but it was not an odd thing. And apparently, the child uh, uh, asked her, "Who are you?" Uh, and um, and Teresa is and Teresa of Jesus, because that was the name she took when. Uh, uh, um, that's another thing that she introduced as a rule. Before her refor reform, uh, the nuns would keep their last names. And some were, called, were even called addressing this so, as a lady. No? And she, she decided that everybody should keep her name plus and uh, uh, like it happens still nowadays. So t t something related to, to, to a particular devotion. Lady. So she to be called Ter yes, Teresa of Jesus. So she answered the she child, I'm Teresa of Jesus. And she said, and who are you? He said, I'm Jesus of Teresa. Another vision that she had. So you can have a look there. And then we go up this way. We go up this way. She saw the child Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lady. Lady, she's a lady. Um. 
That's the room. Careful. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. Take a picture and show it. This is where she saw the child Jesus. Mm. Music. That's the best. Yeah. Uh, Saint Teresa. Go ahead. Automatic off. Thank you. Thank you. Go, Carl. Oh, that's a child. This is where is her encounter with the child Jesus was. Musical instruments. We might find him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The statue. Okay, that's a statue that oh, contains a piece of her body. Uh, they never specify which pieces, but right it's not just a bone, there is some flesh also. Because her body, which is not complete, is unbaptized, but is in Alba de Torres. But what they did, they took out the heart which is placing a special reliquary in Alba de Tormes. One hand uh, is in Ronda, another town. One finger you're going to see later. <laughs> and uh, I told you that for us it's uncomfortable, but it was something very normal in the past. Because relics meant everything to people. More relics you had in your town and your in your city, more protective you felt against all kinds of calamities. And uh, and people were ready to see relics, paid a lot of money for relics. Folks sometimes demanded relics. So St. Catherine of Siena, who were buying the Rome, he had this in Siena. Uh, <laughs> Yes. 
So these are your second category relic. Seat used by Saint John, of, Saint John of the Cross, for confession at the monastery. Sia usada por J one de la Cross, Cruz, <laughs> the cross or Cruz is is a cross. Cuando con conferraba en este monasterio. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Yes. There it is. And it's sculpted over here. Right there. It's his vision. It it's not it's sculpted. Oh, so there's St. Joseph here. Attention. Attention. Remember, she was very devoted to St. Joseph yes. to such an extent that the first convent she created, according to the new reform she carried out, was dedicated to St. Joseph. Eh? And it's here in uh, Avila. She brought this statue with her when she was sent here as a prioress. She could not say no to her spirit. And this is known as St. Joseph the Talker. St. Joseph the Talker. San Jose Parlero in, uh, in uh, Spanish. You know why? Because she, she, she used to say that while she was away, because even as a prioress, sometimes she left to keep go and check in the situation or all the different convent uh, she had found in all over Spain. And so sometimes she was away for some days. And she used to say that coming back, he would tell her everything that, you know, oh. happened here. So, <laughs> even if she was not here, she would do it. That's the chair. That's the chair that someone She's going to talk about the church. The cross sat on when she was confessing the nuns. Oh. Now, you get to see... So, so the confessional downstairs didn't have a chair, but the chair is down up here. I thought he was sitting on the steps, but there's actually a chair 
It's leather. Wow. Wow. The cushion. Huh. These are relics. There's a, a, bo a bone there or a hand, a uh, flesh of her hand. And this is, uh, this is a drawing of St. John of the Cross. His vision of the cross, uh, Jesus Christ on the cross. And it's sculpted over here, right there in the middle. There, <laughs> it says Manila. This is, this she is uses a this, pillow. A pillow. She yes. uses this as a pillow. Some of her flesh are here. The chalice used by St. John Paul II. And I'll show you the cushion when she professed her vows where she knelt down. And she did her profession. Or I think so. That's her Hoping it doesn't rain. Oh, you don't. Oh, no, sorry. I'm <laughs> using this now. Kinoa <laughs> Kasi. We have a free 20 minute time. Your toilet, uh, gift shop, and that should be. In more or less an hour, more or less. Uh, okay. I'm drawing. Uh, St. Huh? John of the Cross and St. Therese. Oh, really, Query. Oh.
Is it open? Make sure it's okay. It's open it now. We'll do it downstairs. Here, here, here. Open it. It's in the it's in the middle, the big one. We're going down the stairs of the convent. We have like 20 minutes free time to go to the gift shop. Spain. Wow. Where are we? Avila. Where's Alvi Avila? Cadiz. There's Cadiz. There's Granada. Teruel. Leon. There, uh, in the province of uh, Leon. careful when you put it on okay oh 
Probably because this is where the restrooms are. Kabila. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Uh. <laughs> Okay. One last look of the outside of the convent, which is now turned into a museum. So we had we had the mass. We looked at the sisters' uh, convent and the reliquary on top, and those were very interesting. We have the, the flesh, the bones of uh, uh, Saint Teresa of Avila, and there's also the the chair of the confessional of uh, St. John of the Cross up there that was interesting and he was an artist he had a vision of the of the uh, crucified Christ in a certain uh, position not the usual position that you see uh, on the usual crucifix that you see in the, the church it's like a almost hanging and the body is like a little bit further away from the from the wooden cross and he was like his abdomen was gasping for for air and it's so like inside uh, into his um, uh, uh, chest cavity so that's the depiction and that was the vision. Uh, one thing she pointed out was that um, there was a sculpture there that looked like the drawing of St. John of the Cross, but she didn't point that out, pointed that out that it was the sculpture um, uh, based from the St. John of the Cross's drawing. I was gonna ask her that question, like I was comparing both and they looked almost the same so uh, I'll probably confirm that with her uh, later on uh, Laura our our tour guide maybe that's one that she will add in her future uh, tours the probably she wasn't able to make that connection but I know how to draw and I can compare uh, properly okay here we go uh, I'll see you in the next uh, clip and one last look one last 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 look and they're sneaky <laughs> enjoying her pilgrimage and just still in the restroom let's take a shot of Angie here cleaning her washing her hands I'm doing something dirty <laughs> say hello no <sighs> no this is a very I think a We'll do this again. Pilgrimage tours. Next year will be the Rome. Gonna go to Rome. Rome. Hopefully the Vatican City. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. So that's the walled city right there. We're actually gonna go up the walls. 
Jackets needed. I have that layer. I think it's a dead. Does the jacket call? No, no, I don't. Are you sure? I'll endure it. I'll endure it. But then my ass comes. Endure it. The pain of Christ. Exactly. I'll endure. I'll try not to be in a bad mood. But if I start calling, up down, up down. Are you prepared for that? Yeah, I'm prepared. Sabi niya, ano, sa camera lang ako nakasabi si Mama. Sabi siya nakasimang ako. You got it all. I got it all. We're gonna go last. Ah, here, you're gonna be separated from your sister. I see. Go ahead. We'll find each other. says the temperature is going to go down so she's advising us to bring jackets okay let's ring let's go let's go let's go we're gonna uh, go up the the walls Father Romeo. No, uh, oh. Father Romeo. It's the last one. There's an escalator first, and I think there's going to be an elevator going up to the walls. She doesn't want us to walk, uh, manually walk up to the walls. there. So, to remind you, uh, these walls were built, built uh, in the span of just 10 years. What are you doing? Oh my. Yeah. You want to I know. You want to put the two? Oh, there she is. Oh my goodness. And Father Romeo too. They're the different ones. And those are the models. Oh, the one. oh there it goes. The design. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll go with them. Getting your exercise. I'm getting my <laughs> your steps. 
You're you're probably fifty thousand steps now. <laughs> okay, now we're almost off the walls, but there's still a level. I think I don't know if that's our goal to go up there. This is probably our goal. No, that that means nothing. <laughs> I hope you can see Angie, Nikki, and Father there. Father's waiting for people. <laughs> Sun. There's a church. She's pointing okay. there. Dedicated to Sun Vicente. How are you going to cross? We're going to have to wait for Angie. Oh. We have to cross. What are we waiting for? Hmm. Crossing, crossing, crossing. Okay, she was pointing out a, a church. Let's see. There's several churches there she said oh she's probably pointing to this church right there dedicated to Saint Vincent right there it's a nice church and probably those are other churches right there <coughs> so 10 years they built this look at how big those stones are how did they do this so thick how where are they at Hurry. They're gonna get lost. What are they doing? Oh man. Oh, okay, we'll find their way. Who were they waiting for? So beautiful here, green green grass. <laughs> There's pigeons there, pigeons on the tree. Wow, you just see this in the movies. But look, a fortress. <laughs> this is the the walled city right here. Father, who are who are they waiting for? Who are they waiting for? They're waiting for who? Oh, Father Jason. Look at these roses. We can't hear the signal anymore. 
which means they're far away. Look at those beautiful roses there. Pink, red. Okay. hear her now so they're near oh there there they are she's talking about the cathedral so this is part of the the walled city right here look at i think on the right side there is a cathedral right there i'm not sure Ah oh, yes. Okay. Wow, this is beautiful. Imagine living here. Oh my goodness. dedicated the Christ the Savior are you seeing them father we're actually 3,000 feet uh, elevation right now 3,200 I think that's what she said We're missing her talk. Oh, so this is the cathedral. I'll show it to you right now. She's talking about where the stones were, were taken. A quarry somewhere. So here, here's the cathedral. <coughs> so the, it's talking about an interesting building here. Which is now a hotel. That's a restaurant. She's probably talking about that. Al Caravilla. Wow, imagine living here. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. I hope the video does it justice, but it's so, so beautiful here. Wow. And here's probably the the front of the cathedral. Gothic. All this cathedral. Gothic cathedral in Spain. That's what you say. Yep. This is the the entrance. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Enormous cathedral. Bill boy walking outside the walls later on.
Are they there? Okay. Oh, they're there. Nicks. Fast. Faster. That was a good exercise. <laughs> Now we can hear them. Okay, they're, they're coming, they're coming. Look at this, it's like, a, this is like literally Attack on Titan. <laughs> attack on Titan uh, scenery. The walls around the city and then the, these, these buildings right here. It's, like, it's an anime, Attack on Titan. <laughs> yeah, I'll put myself in the scene. It's uh, one of the main streets of the town. So she calls this a, a town. <sighs> Lots of shops here. Oh, I can imagine living here. So beautiful. Make you want to move here. She is a shield girl. You okay, father? Don't worry, Kuya Vic. We're tracking you. <laughs> tracking on the. Yeah, on your phone. I was on the. I was on the other side. <laughs> you went the wrong, different way. But it's good that you have that. We're enjoying the. Laura is not the one not enjoying. It's okay. Tell Mama everything on the phone. We can find our way home. She says. She says. No, no, no. She says. Uh, if we need to go uh, separate, we need to tell her, and she will stop and do continuous uh, talking while we're stopping. She is where you know you know you know she how she is. She gets worried. <laughs> and she's responsible for all of us. I'll sign uh not liability Okay. Uh, do your best walk in this wall. <laughs> we are late. No, we're late. We're here now. Wave, 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 tourists. Another pharmacy. I She's talking about uh, another church here. Looks like this is another church.
we're back together with the group here. Maniana is not open so she can show it to us. We come back tomorrow. Wow. St. Teresa. 28. March 28. 1515. She was baptized here. April 4. Looks like it's San Juan Bautista. This is the date, the date of the birth of the incarnation coming was also the day she got baptized. Oh. Uh, sort of a coincidence. Looks like it's uh, Parroquia de San Juan Bautista. So it looks like the Saint John, Saint John the Baptist Church. So, so far, one, two, three, this is the third church inside this walled city. Watch for the ladder, 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 ladder. Okay. Looks like they're preparing for a, a celebration here. St. John the Baptist is June. I wonder what celebration they're going to have. There's a building in the provincial government. <laughs> Abila is the province. So this is the one. Provincial government. <laughs> Building. Diputacion Provincial. It says right there. Diputacion Provincial. It looks like my cousin's house. Oh. Okay. He was only 35 years, 35 years when he became a confessor of the nuns. Okay, I can see him right now, his statue. It's right there in the middle. St. John of the Cross. John of the Cross, pray for us. Mil gracias derramando el paso por estos sotos con presura y endulos mirando con su lazo figura vestidos los niños de su hermosura San Juan de la Cruz.
Cantico Spiritual 1542-1591. Diputacion. <laughs> Look at this. It's crazy. Uh, yep. They're still. Mom, can you take a picture uh, uh, right here? Uh, right here. Take a picture. Oh, hang on. Um, wide angle, the point five. And send it to Ryan. Tell her uh, City of Trust attack on Titan. Trust District attack on Titan. Yeah, tell her. Uh, send, send it now, please. Wall, I think it's Wall Rose, City of Trust. Oh, Trust District. Trust, T-R-O-S-S? -S. Yeah. T-R-O-S-S? Trust, wall? Uh, T-R-O-S-T, District, Wall Rose. <laughs> wall near Rose? Wall and then Rose, Rosas. Oh, she she'll, she'll know. It's like okay. Oh, wow. this is the church. <laughs> Look at this. so rich and history. Yes. I love this. We're like, we're gonna move here and live yeah. here. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Oh my God, this is imagine, so imagine living here. Oh my, oh my goodness. This will be our retirement. So beautiful. I think this is a, a church dedicated to St. Teresa of Avila. We'll see. I hope you can hear me, it's so... Oh yeah, it says there on the side Santa Teresa de Jesus como patrona She's a de, de Jesus too? Wow, Lucia de Jesus From the Fatima children We can't go in. Museo de Santa Teresa is 50 minutes, uh, 50 meters away. It's closed. Oh, yeah, we can go in. It's also La Santa. La Santa, the saint. Oh, there's reliquary here. Of Saint Teresa, de Jesus. The church is closed. I think there's another way. We need to follow her. Where is she? Carmelitas Descalzos La Santa. And here's a sitting statue of Saint Teresa of Avila writing a book. 
Look at that. I'll take a picture of both of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. This is ready? Yes. This is ready? Yes. Okay. Look here. Ready? One, two. Once more. Once more. Okay. Big smiles. Thank you. Uh, one more. Thank you. Uh, one more. Uh, closer. Half body. With. Uh, have a seat. Ha have a seat. There you go. Oh, close. Okay. Close up. Ready? Smile with. St. Teresa. Teresa. <laughs> yeah, that's a good Thank idea. You so much. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, there's really curry inside there. One euro. So this is a gift shop. Of the church. There's a bronze. Señor. That one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> One of a kind. <laughs> okay. I'll get it. 27. 27. 27. Yeah, the way perfection Gracias. Uno de esos. So I think that the religious icon that we chose uh, really portrays her as a doctor of the church because uh, she's writing. That's uh, her most important title. <laughs> it's very simple and it's very light too. I think she was uh, inspired by 
Saint Therese of the Sioux. Saint Therese of the Sioux is there. As you know, there's lots of. Oh, this is the reliquary. This one, depiction of her uh, ecsta ecstasy. This is the reliquary. There, another depiction of her. One episode of her, where she's in religious uh, ecstasy. It's a religious ecstasy. Wow. I like that statue too. But they're so big and I bet it's heavy, it's just thirty dollars. There are books here. Let's see. And it's time. Uh, Edith Stein has a different um, name. That's her Jewish name. I forgot her. Let's see if you can find her Christian name. Here. Was here up here? Oh, yeah, yeah. May God bless you hundredfold. Uh, yes. <laughs> he has done it already, Father. Ahead of time. Huh? That's the same one that he bought. Please, please, please. please. Oh, he bought more. Uh, he, he brought in more. One, one, one euro. You have one euro? Donation. Victor, Father. Uh, this is my bedroom altar. Oh, oh that's my bedroom. Look at that. Yeah, that's my bedroom. Yes. Kami naman ano siya, mga mga figures. Uh, religious figures, yeah. Religious figures. <laughs> so every time we go to the Philippines, to Saint Paul, he's always in front there. <laughs> It's time I pray. I remember you. Because there you go. There you go. We need the we need the prayers, Father. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're happy to be to be here. I am ashamed to ask. Do you have children? Yes, Father. In your place, Atascadero. That's where she works. Oh really? Yeah. Mental state hospital. Oh, how come I don't know? Her? <laughs> I yes. always tell her, go to yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. Uh, oh. Okay. She's always working on a set on a For some reason. Uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd be happy to know. Yes. Yeah. We'll introduce her to you. One time we'll go there on a Sunday. <laughs> what's, what's, her, what's her name? Ryan. Ryan Patrick. Ryan. Oh, bye bye. But Ryan Patrick. Spelling. <laughs> Irish. Oh. Irish. Like Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan. <laughs> yeah. The she's an actress, yeah. Meg Ryan. Yes. Ryan. So. But you want Irish names and they're supposed to be Irish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'll watch. Yeah. Allowed to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Young third degree. A third class. Relics, yeah, I think you're allowed to, to buy it if you want. So this is the, the church dedicated to Lady of the scapular. See the scapular right there. the scapular or Mount Carmel. See the scapular? Here, here it is. I don't know if you can see it. Thank you. 
feel you was quite curious about uh, about her. Well, uh, she died the fifth uh, of October of the fifteen eighty two. Why do we celebrate her feast? That's her daughter's birthday. Fifteen of October, not the feast of uh, Saint Therese. Well, to tell you the truth, so usually when they, there is a colonization process, they have to choose a, a, a feast day for the say. They normally they try to choose uh, uh, yeah. the day of their death, unless it interferes with the liturgical calendar. Uh, there was a case, for instance, of Bernadette who didn't choose her. her. In the case of Saint Therese, what happened, the day she died, that was the day the Pope, uh, Gregory the Thirteenth, had decided to apply the reformation of the calendar. Still nowadays we follow the Gregorian calendar. Because he was very fond of astronomy, geography, and he had a team of astronomers working for him. And they realized that the solar year did not match anymore the calendar. There were some dis discrepancies uh, because of you know the calculation of the of the um, every four years, you know, there is a one more day. Anyway, uh, they did more accurate calculation. They they decided that the only way to have the solar year to match the calendar was to skip ten days. So people uh, in uh, um, in Europe, woke up the 5th of October, it was not the 5th of October, it was the 15th. Mm -hmm. okay, that's why we celebrate the feast of the, the 15th of, of October. Okay, so I'd like to take you back to the bus uh, going by the walls, but on another side. So let, let me take you outside the visita a esta capilla natal de Santa Teresa de Jesús al asolar el, el cuatro centenario de su muerte uno de noviembre de 1982 aquí es donde she was born Puerta Santa Teresa. Wow. There are pigeons there. Puerta de Santa Teresa.
Hmm? No, no, no. Oh, really? The statue? Wow. This is a new statue that they just put on. Right now. Whenever she's crying. Nuestra Señora de la Paz. Oh. Our Lady of Peace. So that's Mama Mary. Okay. This is a new statue. Here. That's great. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is her one of her visions. The scourging in the pillar. It's probably St. John of the Cross. This is uh, St. Teresa of Lisieux. And this is Mama Mary, probably, and her parents. And the Holy Spirit and the Father. So we're gonna go out now. Thank you, Father. Oh, go ahead, Father. Go ahead. I miss this part. <laughs> La Pieta. I don't know what this scene is. This is another scene here. We just left. We just have the, the church dedicated. To the St. Teresa of Avila. We're doing our call. 13! part of the walls <laughs> so happy to be here St. Teresa pray for us Father, why? Mom, mom. Oh, thank you, Saint Teresa. My passport is here. I thought it was missing. Oh my goodness. I always put it on my 
my belt. <laughs> Father Jason, <laughs> what were you saying? Sorry, I, I thought I lost my passport back then. Oh my gosh. Ready? Jump. <laughs> I can't uh, what were you going to say? I said, what were you going to say? Last man. Oh, last man, yes. Last man. I was so happy going there on the church. Isn't it and beautiful? Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> so. like, you see the retablo? The retablo was amazing. It expresses itself, you know. Retablo it, it, is? The, the, the main altar. Oh, okay. Where St. Therese was there looking, uh, experiencing ecstasy in the altar. Yes. It's so beautiful. I was it's, like yeah. having goosebumps all right. the time. I know. I know. In, in there. The moment so I entered, I entered I'm still having goosebumps right now. The moment I entered the church, I was having goosebumps too. Yes. I wonder I, I wonder what they what they feel during those uh, religious ecstasy. Oh he knows? Yes, Father Edwin. Interview him. Who's the other one that uh, experiences re oh Padre Pio has religious ecstasy. 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 Yeah, ecstasy. Experience. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Father Edwin, um, we have a question. What do the saints feel uh, during uh, religious ecstasy or ecstatic episode? Do you have some idea? Yeah, I will. Yeah, ecstasy usually. They, they feel that they are in direct uh, communion with God. Oh. So that's why some of them... Like in a trance? Levitate. They, they, they're like in a trance. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's ecstasy. Oh, okay. Do you call it religious ecstasy? Yes. Okay. Religious. Like Padre Pio. They Padre call it religious. Pio, yeah. When they, they have direct contact with God, like uh, St. Teresa of Avila, mm -hmm. she had the chance to... To have ecstasies, and that means she communicates or having dialogue with the Lord okay. directly. Good to know. <laughs> it's like having goosebumps in the air is yeah. like, I thought it's like. Oh, thank ecstatic. you for this. Oh my God. I was, oh, yeah, you when I saw it, I fell in love with it. Yes. It's perfect for your, <laughs> for your collection, Altar. Father. <laughs> Altar. <laughs> About the same size as what you have. Uh, yeah, I also, uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, yes, I, I try to buy the same size, size. of the figurines. Uh, yeah, too. so they will fit in. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, now we're walking outside the walls. This is outside the walls. still sun and it's a clear day although it's there's some clouds there and it was raining earlier I was so worried so I put my passport in this tiny pack right here or uh, I don't know what you call this now we, we, we don't use it as a fanny pack anymore it's like right here body bag so there's a secret pocket at the back I don't know if you can see that there's a zipper there I always put my passport there and after outside the church I couldn't see it in there <laughs> and it's always there I was like so worried and Father Jason saw me like uh of my word face and it was like saying sorry saying sorry. and I was like so focused with the passport and I found it here this backpack has another secret packet right here and it's right there <laughs> oh my goodness that was crazy I thought I was like it was stolen during like times when I was like not paying attention so we sent up Ryan a picture of the 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 city walls and the, the buildings inside which look like the 
the scenery in uh, Attack on Titan. Uh, that's an anime. But currently we're outside the walls. Maybe you can see it in my back. Here. And I'll show you the front right here. Right there. What happened? What happened? Oh. Oh, okay. but, but the bag is there. The bag is a folding bag. Oh. So they just took, they just took that. They just, they oh, and you just folded it again now. Yeah. And oh. Everything just was was in there before was taken out, right? Oh. Yeah. oh. Oh, this one behind the bench. Those are lights. Those are lights. Pink lights. Which color? Blue or just clear? I'm not sure. It's Look at the walls. As I told you, the walls were built uh, in the span of 10 years only to protect the inhabitants of the city from the Muslim invasion. But there are structures outside the wall. Huh? What? Oh. Are these chestnuts? These are chestnuts. Right there. Chestnuts. They don't look like chestnuts to me. It's probably the outside. The inside, uh, that's where the seeds are, and that's one. That's the one that we eat. This walking outside the walls. I feel like moving here and leaving the city. Father Jason, Ange oh, I'm so sorry. What, uh, Angie? I think we should move here. This is a beautiful city to, to live in. This is paradise. This is paradise, look like that, inside. Look at that, look at that, look at that. The race. I hope you can see the sun's rays right there. It's so beautiful. But I'm just taking a picture of it right there. They just carved the city walls. Okay, there's like prominent rays now. I hope she can capture it well. There's another church there. That's probably the church. Oh, that's the one that we went to uh, earlier. The church of St. Baptist. St. John the Baptist, where she got uh, baptized. Mom, mother, let's walk together here. 
Okay. It's a beautiful country. <laughs> okay, we're walking outside the wall. It's like intramurals, but so shiny. <laughs> and it's a very clean, very clean wall. There's no moss. There's yeah, the colors and the are brown, are not so black beautiful. and gray. The uh, the breeze of the surrounding sunset areas. Is <laughs> amazing, amazing is is good enough. I hope you can hear us. It's so breezy here. We're gonna speak louder, but this is a beautiful experience right here. Wow, this is, uh, feel like uh, moving here. How <laughs> to live here? It's so peaceful and look at that. I'll show you the the buildings now. Right there. Oh wow, it's 7.30. 7.30? I'm gonna have you take a picture of this alley right here. Because, and send it to Ryan. And there's another statue of Saint Teresa. <laughs> yeah, that's a modern sculpture. Wow, look at that. I'll take a picture. Okay. I'll take a panorama of this place because it's so beautiful. Okay, 360 view. And the walls. They're saying Teresa. The wall. Dizzy for, you got dizzy there. Rotating twice. Wow, imagine living here. Yes. We're going to the bus. <laughs> they were gonna shop. <laughs> We're going back to our bus now. I can see her red umbrella, so we're following her. She's just close by. You can see those trees behind me, <laughs> like a park. You're like, if you live here, you're gonna be like living in a, in a it's a, a living, living Disneyland. <laughs> or you're like inside a castle, a city inside a castle because of this, uh, fortress walls here wow so here in Disneyland there's a religious icon store there wow <laughs> you should tell them 
Looks like they went inside. They went inside, father. Okay, let's see what they're buying. Pastries. <laughs> yeah. So they're buying pastries. Mother, track me on the phone, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna follow them. <laughs> We're eating our dinner late today. They're gonna track me. They're uh, gonna track me on my phone, father, oh, with good. the GPS, oh, good, so good, good, they can good. find us. Okay. They were tracking. I didn't know they were tracking me earlier oh, really? when they got lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because we have tourism, we have pilgrimage, and exercise. Ah, uh, yes. Three exactly. Three. Three things at the same time. <laughs> yes. Very good point, Father. It's probably, I wonder how many uh, thousands of steps already. Oh, yeah, we've been walking <laughs> since the, this morning. Yes. Uh, that's Father Edwin from Atascadero, St. William Parish. Um, in Atascadero, San Luis Obispo County. <laughs> yes, he's yes. been there 12 years. 12, 12 years, years mother. already. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm counting. <laughs> You're not too old. You're not too old. <laughs> <laughs> you always smile, smile a lot, so you look to keep, young. <laughs> to, keep, to keep myself young. Yes. <laughs> and. He's from our province too, of Iloilo, and he can speak our language. So. He's a Kasimanwa or town mate. He's our town mate, a priest. We just met her, him on this uh, pilgrimage. And here are the walls again. I'll show you behind me and this is actually the trust district in uh, Walros uh, attack on Titan <laughs> keep on repeating it because I can I can believe there's there's a, a real place where attack on Titan was based based from and it's this very tall walls I wonder how tall they are. Oh, we did it. There are people. There are people up there. Oh, we didn't get to walk up there. Father, there are people up there. <laughs> we didn't get to walk up there. It, probably it's a special, spe special tour. Hindi. Hindi tayo nakadaan on the top of the wall. <laughs> Under the tree, Father? Oh, inside? Inside the walls? No, here. Oh. <laughs> Father Romeo says he's gonna build a cabin. A cabin, Father? A log cabin? Yes. And there's something here. Let's go there. I think this is the main gate. Something here. Let's see what it is. Oh, there's. These are probably. Oh, this is another scene in the. What? This is crazy. This is another scene in Attack on Titan. Where. Got. <laughs> he transformed into a titan here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I forgot his name. Uh, Ernie Jaeger. What was his name? 
that was funny. And there again is the church dedicated to St. Vincent. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Raul and Imelda are there <laughs> waiting. outside of the walls I think the the city inside here this is gonna be their last stand uh, if the Muslims yeah so they're gonna track me on the phone they're tracking my phone um, last so hopefully Oh yeah, they're 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 there. No, they're there now. Who's last? The last two is Angie and uh, Nikki. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. they're there now. I see them. And they crossed. They went somewhere else. I wonder where. They went somewhere. Else. <laughs> I thought you were tracking me. We are. Okay. And you you are the last two people. Coming on up aside. It's okay. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Thank you. <laughs> to me. Kasi naisip namin para makatikim lahat. Bumili kami yung apat na box na pass around the bus. Six dollars lang kwebe. Oh, really? Six, Six euros? euros? Yeah. <laughs> You're very nice. Everyone's the hungry. Oh. Take one and pass it around na lang. Yeah. Yeah, mas? Yeah, yes. I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna pass it around. Don't make cases. We don't have to see it. We don't have to see it. So we're the younger ones, and we can walk past the catch up. So I can hear the the tour guide now. And I can see them down the stairs. And they're here at the gift shop. Did you make it? Yes. They just don't pass it around me. I'll forget about diabetes tonight. The restroom is here, Father? Oh. Oh, voila. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Mag-vlog ka muna, Father. Hello. This is the hotel in here. What hotel? I, 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 well, our hotel. Ladies, tell, tell us your experience. Well, it's, pro it's, it's, it's facing you, Father. It's facing me? Yes. It's supposed to be facing you.
Oh, Fairbank. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you, Patrick. Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. And then anybody? Then. Bus is yeah, there. Bus is here, bus is yeah. Here. So we're here. Father Jason is last. Father Jason is coming. No, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, everyone. Philia. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that was a good experience. That was a beautiful place. Beautiful place. <laughs> Smile, everyone. Five dollars each. Five dollars. Pass it to the bank, friend. Just keep passing it around. Angie and Nikki pa bought some uh, sweets to get everybody. Uh, Thank you, Nikki. Because everyone's hungry. Mm, good. Wow. And out of sugar. Let's see how it tastes. I have no idea how it tastes. That looks good. Uh, they're all, they're all over here. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry. Mm. That was a good experience. Take one and pass it around. What else are you going to play for Yeah, it's all the same. Yeah, it's all the same. I have a chocolate flavor And that's the treat. I think so. It looks Pringles fancy. Pringles de Avila. Pringles What does it say? Kuchi? Kunchi? It doesn't say kunchi. I don't know, I have to look. I, I thank you guys. You're welcome. Oh, thank you guys. Let's eat. <laughs> Cheers to our I new town. Good job. <laughs> We're gonna move here. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. One more cup of that. We only got the regular. Try it. Anyone else? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Anyone else? So good. Is it good? But that, my family is in the Okay, so. Uh, no. We made it out of the, the castle. Try to put it in the castle. No. Mm -hmm. I need to give oh, the, you a lot of important yeah, information. Yeah, Oh, it's a uh, Yemas Avila. Is it good? Okay. You can tell we're going to be staying. Yemas. And the Bangalore is not going to be staying. Mm, Namit, Manamit, 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 and it's like, uh, it's got like the fine sugar. It's not as creamy as the one in uh, Iloilo. Okay. But it's still good. So, so sweet. Uh, so sweet. Maybe and the men so can start sweet. taking the big luggage, their, their big luggage into the reception. Totally and different, huh? Once I uh, have given out the mm. keys, I'm going it's to not sticky. Any, Nelson, yeah, it's not as sticky. We're bringing the rest of the, of the suitcase. I don't want Mama. to have elder lady, you know, uh, struggling to with the keys. Okay. Mm. Okay. Into the reception. Once all the suitcases are in the reception, and you have two elevators here. <laughs> Bring Ryan. Uh, there are two the walled city of Avila. Uh, but the hotels are named here after Saint Teresa. <laughs> the floor where the hotel is, where the reception is located, should be ground zero. <laughs> but at that hotel is floor one. Don't ask me why. Okay. So, when you get your key anyway, um, use the elevator, um, yeah. there's no problem, you, you will just push floor number two, floor number three, whatever is written on your, on your car. So, on the our call later, there's not going to be any porter. <laughs> is at the same level of the we'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Got lots of but luggages. Corridor, so I'll, uh, I'll point it out to you. 
when we are there. The point is that the place where you are going to have your breakfast tomorrow is not the same place where we're going to have dinner tonight. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay? The breakfast room is on the third floor. Okay? You know, if it's a buffet, it's, it's probably, probably not buffet. <laughs> Uh, luckily though, luckily, that's an exception, at this hotel, they will open up the, the breakfast room for us at quarter to seven. Is that not bad? Yeah, I mean, like, really strong. Yeah, yeah like, really what? strong leather. My feet? Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I like it. We were trying to hide it with the leather smell part. At least, and I'm not the made in Spain and the made in China. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. exactly. Mati in China. So, she's talking about that leather bag right there. The whole bag. That's what Bobby was saying. It's made in but, uh, Spain. Made in Spain. <laughs> and social. <laughs> and classy. <laughs> Spanish leather. <laughs> At a good price. Okay, ready? So we're here at Hotel Castillo. Father. <laughs> what? Grocery outfit. Grocery outfit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, ma. The sugar is 49. The sugar is 49. That's, the, that's very low. <laughs> So we're gonna be bringing our own bags because there's no porter here. Oh, well, those were the grapes you bought earlier. Yeah. No so we'll taste. Yes, sir. Now what can I give me To bring it up to 60, Father, you need five grapes. <laughs> Your blood sugar. <laughs> it's down to 49 right now. <laughs> when I when I had that ano pastilla and yeah. yeah that's ours. <laughs> this is ours. <laughs> I had ano um how do you call that? Coma, food coma. Oh. <laughs> and that uh, yema help? Yeah. Is that yema? Yema. Let me ask. Mario is is there? Okay, Mario. <laughs> so this is our room for the night here in Avila, Spain, Hotel de Castilla, Castilla, Castilla. Because it says it's a castle based from the root word of a castle. Uh, <laughs> there's a veranda there, but looks like you can go out because there's a doorknob here. And there's, uh, oh, there's a shopping center nearby. A modern shop. Hola! <laughs> there are kids outside. <laughs> They're so happy to see us peeking out the window. And this uh, two twin bed beds or double. Oh no, it's a twin. And she's in the restroom already. So I cannot show you that. You're done? Okay. There's some sort of a uh, water. Uh, escape here painting let's see how the restroom looks fancy it's fancier than last night i didn't get to take a video of the one last night but 
uh, that one was a smaller building a smaller number of staff but the hotels are actually very very beautiful here very classy and the tiles the shiny tiles makes it really really, really classy it's a picture of a parade here little living room here a little uh, place here where you can eat you have a TV part of the package uh, including uh, dinner so we're gonna go down and eat dinner 